Now we're coming close to the end of this course, and this is a lot of really good content for getting started with Vue. I think a really good focus of this course was to use Vue, drop it into your current applications, and start using it in replacement as of something like jQuery or just vanilla JavaScript. It really helps organize your applications really well. Moving forward though, for larger scale and more robust Vue applications, maybe a Vue single page application where you have routing, you have a full component tree of multiple, multiple components moving around, and you have a lot of larger scale things, well, the Vue CLI really does a great job at helping you and giving you best practices for those larger types of applications. Now, this is just a quick intro into the Vue CLI. I think that it deserves a full course on its own, and we will do that next. But to get us started, we'll go over to the GitHub Vue.js slash Vue-CLI repo. And let's scroll down. You can get instructions here, npm install globally Vue CLI. So we'll copy that, find our terminal, paste that in, and we're going to install that globally for our computer. All right, as of the time of this writing, we're at 2.9.2 .2 in the Vue CLI. But this is where things get really interesting. This right here, all of these were created by our hand. And what we did was we added in the Vue.js script tag. That's totally fine. Now let's go look at the Vue CLI docs. The way we use it is we say Vue init, and Vue gives us a couple different templates that we can use, and then we have a project name. Down here, let's go into the official templates. We have Webpack, we have Webpack Simple, Browserify, Browserify Simple, PWA, and Simple. Now the ones I use the most are Webpack and Webpack Simple, and the other one that we want you to take a look at is Simple. So we'll use these three build out our application. And if you haven't dealt with Webpack, don't worry about it. We're going to walk through why the CLI uses Webpack and why so many JavaScript projects are using Webpack these days. React is using it, Angular is using it, and so is Vue. Let's dive right in and start using the CLI and see a couple different things it can do for us. We'll create a couple different things. We'll say Vue init. And the first one I want to use is simple. So we'll say 17. 17-simple. Let's do 17-cli-simple. I think that's a good name. Downloads a template. We can name it. We'll just keep all the defaults. Just press enter, enter. And now we have a folder for 17-cli-simple. And this is the simplest a view application can be. We open it up. Let's close the terminal. We have our head tag, which just has a script tag. And then we have just some really quick, simple things. We have our greeting, which you can probably find in the view instance down here. Yep. View instance app data is greeting docs URL, discord forum methods. So we have a very simple view application. This should all look very familiar. Notice that the official view CLI uses the shorthand for a colon href instead of vbind. So that's good at looking at the CLI for the simple. Let's go a step further. Let's say view init webpack simple dash simple 17 CLI webpack simple. We'll keep that. We'll just keep all the defaults really. Just keep pressing enter, 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 use SAS. Yes, please. Now we get to finally use SAS. And that will go ahead and create all the files needed for us. We can CD into that folder. And let's just do that now. CD 17-CLI webpack. NPM install. So we can install all of our dependencies. And if you haven't used NPM, this is kind of the package manager, node package manager that everyone is using these days to grab all of their dependencies, all their JavaScript dependencies. Really helpful tool. And this helps since we don't have to go out to the browser, go find different script tags everywhere and start adding them to our project. We can just run npm install whatever we need. Now that we have all that installed, all we have to do is run npm run dev. And that will go ahead, open up our application in the browser, and here we have our nice view application.
Let's go back into VS Code and take a look. I opened up Hyper to run npm run dev. Let's see, 17 Webpack Simple. Now notice it's far larger of an application that we're used to. We have, let's increase the size here. We have our Webpack Simple. First, let's start in the package.json. Package.json, this is where you define the things about your application. And package.json is the file where we define pretty much the starting point of our application. We say dependencies, we need view and dev dependencies. These are all the things that we need to develop. And a lot of this stuff is Webpack specific, but the big thing is that Webpack can do all of these things for us. Basically, it handles SAS for us. It handles loading CSS files for us. It handles imports. And I'll show you exactly what that is. Now, this is getting a little farther into the weeds if you're not familiar with this stuff, like ES6 imports, like Webpack. But the cool thing is that the CLI kind of hides all this from us. And we'll talk a lot more on this when we do the CLI course. But for now, you don't even need to know that these are the dependencies. It's just good to look at. We'll close that, close that. And here, our source is where we're going to build our application. Now we're getting introduced to something new here. We have a .view file. This is another way that to create components. And our app.view is our main component. So if we open this up, let's zoom out a little bit. We have our template, our script, and our styles. So what a component really comes down to is three different sections, right? It's you need your JavaScript, you need your template and styles that are scoped only to this component. So these are called single file components and view is the dot view extension is how you create them. We'll definitely go into this more in the components course, but this is a really good intro to it. And let's see, we have our templates, nothing really fancy going here. We only have one data variable called message. And this is a shorthand for, for returning data as a function. And we'll talk on why they're doing it as a function instead of just doing a, a data object like we have been doing it so far. And the main point is reusability. So the Webpack Simple is definitely a more advanced single page application for Vue. And this is if you want your entire application to be built with Vue. All the ones we've done up here so far is if we already have a current application and you just want to enhance it with JavaScript and Vue, you just drop in the script tag. But if you want an application to be fully built with Vue, you use the Webpack or the Webpack Simple CLI builds. But all in all, that's how we get started with the CLI, right? We are going to npm install globally Vue CLI. Once that's done, we do Vue init, and then we have our template, so we'll say Webpack. It'll go ahead and create that. And then from there, you can CD into it, my app, and then you run npm install, and then you run npm run dev. And that's how you can start working with the CLI and building out single page applications in Vue. Now that's forward thinking, but for this course, if you want to drop in Vue into any application to enhance it, to make it easier to navigate and manage, definitely, definitely give it a shot.